Good morning all. I Nalini Chatta presenting a paper on application of multifocus and multimodal image fusion using guided filter on biomedical images at EAI BDCC 2021 fourth EAI International Conference on Big Data Innovation for Sustainable Cognitive Computing under the guidance of Dr. Sudeep Thepde. from Pimpri Chinswad College of Engineering Pune Maharashtra the agenda for a day is to have a introduction then overview of guided filter methodology experimental analysis results and discussion and conclusion a novel technique for combining images was developed in a recent years to improve the quality of images processed to generate a picture suited for a particular outcome Various image sources are combined in a process called image fusion. Fusion combines several images for improved outcomes and user understanding compared to showing multiple images. Robotics, medical imaging, remote sensing, advances in medical diagnosis, surveillance and forensic analysis are just a few of the domains where this approach is employed. using picture fusion has shown useful in a pre diagnosis and illness categorization use of image registration and segmentation are two common methods for composing a picture accordingly combining images can provide a superior output image from a single one of its input this means that Image fusion primary objective should be the creation of a picture that are valuable for a variety of applications such as very, uh, as instructive and easily classifiable images. To begin with, medical image merging is concerned with development and replication of a diverse medical diagnostic pictures. A variety of a sensing and imaging technologies has been developed as a result of a technology advancements and multimodal equipment has been offered for the medical diagnosis and study. A few examples of medical imaging technologies that are under used in the medical research are magnetic resonance tomography, PET and computer tomography. as a result of a fast development of computer and imaging technology in the recent years diagnostic technology has acquired a great deal of attraction in the medical sector furthermore these technologies have considerable simplified the diagnosis of diseases and made it simpler to utilize a typical image fusion includes merging many comparable input pictures into a single clear fusion image by using relevant data sets in order to assure clear and distortion free performance image fusion integrates and aggregates needed information from a series of recorded pictures as a result a large number of distinct pictures may be merged to provide a complete and undistorted set of information rich images we choose guided filters for extracting important information from detailed layers this is an age preserving filter which provides the most accurate image details the outcome of a filtering is a linear transform of a guidance image that is applied locally it provides reducing ringing blurring imaging effect it is a non iterative method with a least computing this is to the best of our knowledge one of the quickest age preserving filters smoothing is performed by guided filter by taking a statistical features of a pixels neighborhood into account it computes output in the same way as a lti filter that is a linear time invariant filter it does however utilizes a another picture as a guide this extra picture might be the original or a translated version of original for this reason one can alternatively use an entirely different picture 
guided filter like other age preserving filters can maintain age information throughout the decomposition process which aids in the prevention of ringing artifacts because of this feature guided filter is helpful in variety of applications such as colorization up sampling and picture matting guided filter has additional attribute called structure transferring property in addition to age preserving property if the guiding image and the input are the same age preserving smoothing will be performed but the structure will remain intact the smoothing process is regulated by the structure of guiding image when it differs from the input the example is as shown in the figure shows the effect of a window radius and a regularization parameter on the base and detailed layers of the input pictures the picture below depicts the outputs of the base and a detailed layer for various r and epsilon values when a variable epsilon is equal to 0.1 square the smooth subband pictures have the strong age enhancement effect but the detailed subband images have the fewer notable characteristics and the variable epsilon is equal to 0.4 square the smooth information is spread across the detailed subband pictures because the smoothness is too high hence by controlling these variables more accurate fuge images can be extracted from the filtering process the proposed research aims to improve the processing quality through picture fusion utilizing two scale image decomposition and guided filtering approach the methodology is as shown in the figure so the stages for this methodology are uh, first is the picture in the input data set are decomposed into detailed layers and the base layers in the first step the average z filter is used to extract the base layers from the source pictures the detailed layers are then calculated by subtracting the base layers from the source pictures a simple averaging method is employed to fuse the base layers for fusing all the detailed layers the laplacian filter is used to create high pass pictures the silency maps are created using gaussian filters on edge pictures to generate initial weight maps the silency maps are constructed the acquired maps are then put to the guided filter to generate the final weight maps the matching detail layer images are used as a reference images the final detailed layer weight map are fused using a pixel wise weighted averaging approach finally to recreate the resultant fused image the fused base layer and the detail layer maps are utilized this methodology as shown in the figure moving towards the experimental analysis uh, we need a image quality assessment so there is a significant degree of a structure in a natural picture signals their pixels display strong relationships especially when they are specially close and this dependencies contain crucial information about the object structure most of the quality metrics are based on the linear transformations to decompose the picture signals to prove the effectiveness of any fusion process the finding must be verified in terms of visual quality and fusion parameters it's possible to accomplish this in every image processing scenario visual examination is the best approach to assess the quality of the final image as a way to help the validation process quantitative analysis will be explored to date there is no benchmark for calculating the proper fusion metrics in a picture fusion for a quantitative analysis traditional and contemporary fusion measures are discussed here so the first is a pic, pic signal to noise ratio which estimates the reconstruction quality of the image then we have a mean square error which determines whether or not two pictures are identical 
the zero value error indicates that pictures are entirely similar signal to noise ratio uh, it uh, the positive value implies that there is a less background noise in picture we have the image quality index which estimates the quality of the re reconstructed image and lies in between minus 1 to 1 the niqe that is a naturalness image quality estimator it estimates the distance between the deformed picture and the original image is calculated the distance is used to assess the image quality the shorter the distance implies that the a degree of the distortion is low and the image quality is high we have a mean absolute error used to compute the absolute inaccuracy between the original picture and the improved image the rmse can be used to assess the image quality and the degree of distortion present the pearson correlation coefficient controls the degree to which the input and the output pictures are correlated with this all performance measures we have done the uh, verification of the experimentation so we present a several experimentation validations of proposed approach over here the input data set contains ct pt mri and spect images of human brain the subjective and objective evaluations are used to test and validate the suggested method simultaneously the proposed image fusion method is pitted against a seven different standard image fusion algorithms these algorithms are the conventional algorithms which are pca that is a uh, principal component analysis nsct that is a non subsample counterlet transform dwt discrete wavelet transform gif graphics interchange format cnn that is a convolutional neural network pcnn that is a pulse coupled neural network nsct gif etc the table shows a thorough study of a performance for the traditional and theoretical hybrid fusion methods for the quality images such as mssi mi iqi and psnr so from the table we can see that the proposed system has outperformed the conventional seven methods even uh, in the, ta the the next table also we have the another set of images which are the set 4 set 5 and set 6 images over here also we can see that a proposed system of a guided uh, filter based system has outperformed other methods in the perspective for the performance measures of iqi mssi ssim and psnr these two tables uh, are uh, represented graphically in the next slide over here uh, we can get uh, a clear picture about the efficiency of proposed guided filter approach this figure depicts the parameter comparative analysis of different method with a proposed fusion method these figures exhibit a bar graph that further demonstrates the performance level of suggested hybrid approach in a comparison to traditional methods in the image quality index graph the proposed system outperforms the methods such as a pca gif cnn dwt nsct pcnn nsct gif with practical simulated values of 0.99 which is extremely near to 1 similarly mssim is utilized to calculate mean structural similarity in first graph this parameter evaluates a structural similarity as described in a parameter table with an output of 0.99 the suggested hybrid method achieves mssmi accuracy almost to 1 higher psnr indicates a higher quality restoration the psnr values of the prior seven techniques are in 30 to 40 db range however the proposed system provides a value between 40 db range this means that the reconstructed fuse image has a higher resolution qual and quality many additional critical characteristics are determined to support the claims made by the proposed approach 
the given table describes the different quality metrics parameters and the output values obtained using the proposed algorithm we can see over here that set 1 4 5 have positive snr values indicating that the image has no background noise mec and mae are the error numbers that indicate whether or not the pictures are identical as well as inaccuracy in recreated image the developed method produces near zero values suggesting that the produced images are similar and accurate the presence of reduced distortion is indicated by rmc values close to zero the niq of set 2 3 and 6 indicates that the distances between the source and the fuse image are less resulting in less distortion and better resolution the fact that cc attained values close to 1 demonstrate that the images are covary The figure depicts the input data set of several imaging modality including MRI SPECT MRI PECT and M CT MRI which are fused to provide a clear output pictures the guided filter approach as described uh, uh, in the given methodology is used to fuse this picture and we can see the output of the system in the given figure so we can conclude that the proposed system presents a comprehensive and detailed images as a conclusion we say that in this proposed method we have presented a multifocus and multimodal picture fusion method based on the guided image filtering and two scale decomposition to produce a base layer we used basic averaging guided filter and silency maps are used to reduce the noise from the detailed layers the original image information can be rapidly and efficiently retrieved using two scale decomposition while a guided filter can suppress artifacts to reduce ringing and blurring effects while retaining age and enhancing image quality the proposed approach is found to be valid and effective as a result of experiments and it performs adequately in both visual impression and quantitative performance thank you all